take three. Okay, three is my lucky number. So, okay, I want to explain the difference between concentric, eccentric, and isometric contractions. Okay, now concentric and eccentric contractions are also isotonic contractions. Okay, these two. So a concentric contraction is when the muscle fibers shorten. Okay, they are shortening. An eccentric contraction is when the muscle fibers are lengthening. So I'm going to use my bicep as an example. Okay, so right now my arm is relaxed. If I want to do a concentric contraction at the biceps, I'm going to flex. Okay, so you all see that big bicep, my gains right there. Okay, so this muscle right here is shortened. Okay, this is concentric. Now, to get it eccentric, I'm going to lengthen the bicep. Okay, so now my muscle fibers are lengthened. Okay, this is in its entirety an isotonic contraction. Now, let's talk about an isometric contraction. This is when the muscle fibers do not move. So it does not move. Here is an example. So here I have my dumbbell. If I just hold it like this, my muscle fibers are not moving. They're activated, but they are not moving. So this is considered an isometric contraction. Okay. Now, when I do this, what is that contraction? What did my muscle fibers do? They lengthened. So that is an eccentric contraction. Now let's do a concentric contraction. This is my muscle fibers shortening in the bicep. That is a concentric contraction. And when I just do eccentric and concentric, both of those together, it is an isotonic contraction. All right. Now, just a quick side note. If this helps, consent, contract, use it um, to remember that it shortens eccentric. Here's another side note is that sometimes you'll see someone in the gym and they'll go like this and then they'll go whoop, down and then do it again like this and then whoop, down well it's kind of defeating the purpose and I'll tell you why it's because when we do the concentric contraction it is actually on the descending on the eccentric motion that our muscle fibers tear and then we consume proteins and then it helps build that muscle back up and then we get hypertrophy what we're all after those gains hypertrophy we'll talk about that in another video so hopefully this helps you it's just a small uh, foundation of what concentric eccentric and isometric and isotonic contractions are if you still need help after this video of understanding it please leave me a comment that way i can uh, sorry my cat's running around like crazy over here please leave me a comment that way i know what we can cover on the next video so I can help y'all guys out to pass that inblex. All right, y'all take care. I hope this helps. Dang, that was a lot of high energy.